All right, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on Camtasia. Uh, I just downloaded it. It's brand new, version 1.0, and I made my first tutorial. It was fairly easy, um, similar to ScreenFlow uh, with the look, the Mac, the interface. I've only used Mac uh, uh, screen capturing software. Uh, but for my first looks at it, I'm very impressed with it. So let's look at uh, some of the features that I'm seeing in ScreenFlow. Just a quick look. Um, remember I did not I just viewed some of their tutorials online so here's my first thing that I've done so let's turn up my volume here and see so I laid down a tutorial about Adobe Media Encoder that I'm gonna post uh, to my website and the first thing I like about this uh, I like that it has all the fade in and fade out audio fade in and fade out as well um, other screen uh, capture, other screen uh, uh, competitors don't have that, and a lot of times I have to make my own. So anything that saves you time, they really thought about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fade in uh, at the beginning here. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to put this down here like this to fade it in. So when I start my screen, and it starts there. So I'm going to move the timeline right there, and then and then I'm gonna fade it out as well I'm gonna put that right there and go like that okay so let's see okay so that's the fade in fade out one thing I really uh, they really uh, talked about on TechSmith is the smart focus now I and if you put your mouse over it you see how it comes it shows you exactly what it is smart focus there it shows you all the stuff smart focus so I'm going to try this smart focus because as you see I go in I have little things see all of these little things I'm doing with the the time the uh, the screen capture so I'm going to do the smart focus right here so let's do this it's going to do 100 percent complete and then it puts these little I don't know if you see it it puts these little bubbles or whatever you call it right here so let's let's play it okay that's not bad we can drag the smart focus out if we want it to go longer and um, so we do that it shows you that and let's see what else okay and then it goes there oh I like how it focuses right there let's see where else it goes alright so I guess if I want another at, at a time if I want another smart focus I can put it right there so see I can put another smart focus so let's put another smart focus at a time um, right here okay and it does it like that so uh, I think that is it for now I just tried the smart focus from Adobe Media Coder